Monday on Home and Family, Hallmark star Dylan Neal is visiting our home. And Chef Damaris Phillips is cooking catfish po' boys. We are back and she's here to solve your beauty dilemmas with a pinch. With a pinch? In a pinch. Or in a pinch. I think in a, in a pinch, pinch, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can pinch you. Yeah, yeah that exactly. didn't solve anything. Not solved. Kim is here. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah. There's solved been Mark. itching and pinching. pinching. You know, I know. All, I know. Happening. Happening. all kinds of issues this week, but yeah. I'm Things solving them. Well, should we jump right into this? Let's because do. we have some questions, and they're not yeah. from us. They're yeah. from <gasps> you. Uh, our first question is from Amanda Peroni, niece from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh, Amanda, are you there? She is. Hi, Amanda. Hi, guys. Hi. Amanda. We are here in the nick of time. Um, and you've come yeah, us here so with a pinch of time. Absolutely, uh, another pinch. <laughs> what's your question Asian. for Kim? Okay, so I usually have normal to oily skin, but with the weather changing, I've been noticing some dry patches on my cheeks and under my nose. So I was wondering if you had a way to treat both my oily areas like my T-zone, but then also the dry patches that I've been finding. Well, you would never be able to tell. You're absolutely yes, gorgeous. Yes, you really yeah. are. Thank However, you. I'm glad you asked that question, Amanda, because I do get that a lot from our viewers that write in with different issues. Not your exact ones, but some people have oily all over or some people have dry in yeah. certain areas like you. Mm -hmm. So there is something that you can do, and it's called multi-masking, and it's mm. the newest oh, trend good. right now. And let's take a look of our very own Lily, who really did wow. multi-mask just for My you. Goodness. And I'm awesome. she, she went to down. a children's birthday party and played <laughs> and the clown. <laughs> <laughs> money. And she made a little bit of money. It's all a good thing. But truly, Amanda, different parts of your face need different treatments. So that is why I found for you this multi-masking solution. Now, the first one is you want to find a cleansing mask. It does not need to be this one. I'm covering it because a lot of ladies say, which one was it? Oh, it can be any one that you find for your price range and for your particular issue. But you want to get a cleansing mask for the oily areas on your face, that T-zone you spoke about. Then you mm -hmm. want to do, for the drier areas, you want to do a hydrating mask. And it looks a little bit more like this. You can mm. see it's kind of, you know, got a lot of uh, moisture in there. It mm -hmm. looks more creamy mm -hmm. and luxurious. Mm -hmm. And then for the nose area, Amanda, many of us and many of the women complain to me about large pores. And this is for smaller pores, to make your pores wow. smaller. So you want to okay. put this orangey mask um, on the the nose, and maybe some women have larger pores here, or even so around the mouth. Yeah. Oh, that's it nice. makes them smaller. Oh. So just know that you can multi-mask. I Wonderful. hope that helps awesome. you, Amanda. Thank you so much. And I would, I would at this point ask you to take a photo and send it to us, but since you've seen Lily, perhaps you would pass on that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to see that. <laughs> but I do want to probably have you back and, and, and you can maybe take, take us through a DIY of the wall behind you, because that is beautiful. Yeah, that's I all love my it. Mom. Oh, oh thank you, it. Mom. Perfect. And we well, love Myrtle Beach as well. If you yes, want to invite us, we're yes. happy to call. <laughs> yes, have your mom Doors submit open. a resume. <laughs> thank you, Amanda. Good, use her help. Thank you, okay, guys. thank you so much. Okay, our next question comes from Lauren Raritan from Durango, Colorado. And Lauren asks Is there anything that will tighten up the area between the eyelid and the brow? Interesting. So, Lauren, great question, and a lot of our viewers, and myself included for sure, over 35, are always asking me about, you know, this is mm -hmm. the first place that we tend to show aging. Mm -hmm. Did you know that in my two weeks of research for this wow. question for you, Lauren, I found out that your eyelids are part of a ring of muscles. So there's actually, Mark works out every day, mm. Debbie works out all the time, lifting the baby yeah. and doing all, you know, it's the same thing with our eyes. So I would like you to join me, ladies and what? gentlemen. Mark, that you means you. Call me a gentleman? Uh, not really, but right. anyway, no. I want you to what join me in these exercises that you can do to help with that droopy lid right here that Lauren do? was talking about. You want to take your finger and you want to press it pretty firmly on that brow bone right oh. there. Press it right there. Now, what you want to do is your eyelids are, again, part of that muscle ring. Feels good. So the facial exercises are going to help tone those drooping eyelids. Now what you want to do, push up a little bit, and now at the same time, close your eyes. Try to 
to close your eyes. Close them down for three seconds. <laughs> one, one thousand, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Okay, lift them up, Debbie. Now let's just do it one more time. Oh, that's all good. Come on, you guys are such lightweight. I feel okay. like, mommy, mommy, my braids are too tight. No, push down, push back, and now close your eyes as tight as you can for three seconds. One, two, three. Oh, release. Oh my gosh, you look about 20 years younger, Mark. Debbie, you look exactly the same. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. But I do have to say, yeah. it does kind of rejuvenate the blood flow or something because right? yeah. it feels... Yeah, I feel like my like eyes aren't so heavy. Your, it's really, it really is working down, so. that muscle right there. Now here's one more for you, Lauren. So, I would have never thought that it actually just worked. Right, yeah. just a little bit. A little bit. You can do these for 10 minutes a day, um, about once a day. And here's the second one. What you want to do is take your forefinger and your thumb, cup. Make a C around your eyes, right? Now you want to press back. Shape, it? Oh my it's gosh. a C, Mark. It's so a backward C. And then what you it. want to do right now is look down again. Pull down, pull down, look down for three seconds. One, two, and three. And we're looking at our nose. Open. Hi. And now down again. One, two, and three. Looking at our nose, looking down, pulling, tightening, contracting those muscles, and release. <gasps> I feel better. I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like I just lost five pounds. I, I feel slightly humiliated is what I feel. But you do I, not. I'm sure. They're free and they work and they're great. And Lauren, I hope that helps. <laughs> okay, well, so far we've seen Lily in a crazy mask. Yes. We have been making crazy faces. I feel so much better. Actually, it does don't feel good. Yeah. I know, that does. Actually, it feels good. It you does. never really stretch no, those. No, you flex don't. Them. How do you flex those? Because you just go to sleep. There you go. Um, do we have time for another one? Or yes, we do, of yeah. course. Our Great. next question comes from Megan Claire from oh, um, Oak Grove, Kentucky. Hi, Megan. What's Hi, your Megan. question? Megan. Hi. Um, I've actually always had thin hair, and I've tried almost everything on the market. I was wondering maybe if you had something that could actually help it look a little more thicker and voluminous. I like that. Um, number one, you have beautiful hair. I would give anything to have that. I've always wanted to have that Lori Partridge that's hair that's true. straight, beautiful. So I love it. We always tend to want what we don't have. Secondly, I love Kentucky. Hello, Kentucky. So <laughs> shout out to you. Um, Megan, I have a great tip for you that I've learned from some of the top makeup and hair people in the business, including our very own Francine V right here. Mm. So here is what you do. I take my dry shampoo. Everyone will tell you, you Use dry shampoo when you've had like three days, you can't wash your hair. Megan, here's the secret. Don't tell anyone. You use it on freshly washed hair. Right. It's amazing. What it does is you've just Looks washed your right. hair. So it is feeling like a little bit full and puffy. Then you just do your thing. You flip over. You poof. You fluff. Oh my gosh, Luck and what true. it does is it just gives you that extra volume mm -hmm. and that extra bounce. I use any kind of uh, dry shampoo. You can get it at your local drugstore. Another tip for you, Megan, is there are products that are thickening, and all you do is spray these on right after you've washed your hair with damp hair, and then even a lifting, another like little lifting um, spray. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, isn't that nice? And it's is that light. Is like root or is yes, it Yes, yes. Good. Like that. Yeah, and sometimes, Mark, another little tip that Francine has taught us all is you put it over on the part uh -huh. that you wouldn't normally part, spray it, oh, and then put it back. It back on the oh, other look side. at you, Megan. Yeah. You're going to have the highest hair. You're going to be the closest to God, and you're going to be a movie wow. star. It's true. Wonderful. And if you All don't right, have I'll that, definitely you... try those. Good. And yeah. Megan, if you don't have gorgeous. that line around too, should we tell the other secret? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Megan, you can also use, I'm not kidding, ladies, this is the best secret out there, baby, baby powder. powder. Put Flip your head. your head, put a little Woo! baby powder, put on your roots, flip back, no one will know when you smell like a baby's behind. <laughs> I hope that helps, Thank Megan. Thank you. Megan, you see what I have to live with every day? Megan, he's every so day. lucky. He every loves day. it. So Thank lucky. you so much. Tell it. everybody in Kentucky to come find me and take me. <laughs> oh, stop <laughs> it. You all stick around because Pamela Saltzman is waiting for us in the kitchen. Hey, Pamela. Hi. Definitely stick around because I'm going to show you how to make a great chicken shawarma at home. Also, Orly is recycling old sweaters. She's turning them into comfy socks for the entire family. Plus, actress Fran Drescher is giving us an insider look at how she is helping fight cancer head on. And I am teaming up with Paige. We're going to add a little fright and flight to our front yard. Isn't that right, Paige? And a little fun to your front yard because Mark and I, yes, we've teamed up to show you how to make bats and cats over your front yard. <laughs> Super cute. <laughs> you guys are batty. Oh, oh Deb, up next, oh, I'm going into the kitchen. I'm putting a little twist on the, you know, classic popcorn and cocktail or mocktail for movie night. Come on back, everybody. Oh,